So um, there are a couple multiple different ways that you guys can go and solve this problem. Um, one of the ways though that I was looking into um, you guys doing, because yeah, you could obviously just multiply 82 times three and then add all the typical zeros. But the, uh, another way that we're looking into this, if that doesn't make as much sense, is to be able to rewrite these in scientific notation. So you guys remember, when we have these in the scientific notation, I need to move my decimal point over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I could have 8.2 times 10 to the seventh. Now it's a positive 7 because when I have 8.2, that means I need to move it over 7 units to the right to get to that answer. And then I'm going to multiply that number times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3 times 10 to the ninth power. So therefore, you counting all the zeros, which you guys can understand would be 16, correct? Um, then you just need to multiply 8.2 times 3. Well, we can simply do that. 8.2 times 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 is 24. Move it over 1 is 2.4. So I have 20, sorry, 24.6 times 10 to the 16th power. Again, that's moving over 16 units. However, ladies and gentlemen, we need to rewrite this in exponential form. So I'm going to do 2.46 times 10. Well, if from here, I'm moving it over 16. If I start from here, I now have to move it over 17. And then that would be your final answer in scientific notation. Okay.